Okay, my water signs. How are you doing, Cancer Pisces Scorpio? I feel like you guys are very resourceful in your energy. You figure out how to get it done. You guys could be really good multitaskers. So, I was in the middle of getting undressed. So maybe somebody is undressing you. Or you're undressing someone. Or someone's undressing you with their eyes. I don't fucking know. But we're going to find out. Alright, water signs. Know that tarot is for entertainment purposes. Also to give you some clarity to your situation. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit... If I say it's you, it could be a person. I do talk. A little odd at times. <laughs> uh, so if you get offended, just uh, find your way out of the read. Come again another day. I don't want to say what I usually say because YouTube is having an issue not monetizing my videos. So I haven't been, uh, been limited on making money on the videos with something that I'm saying. Um, so maybe you feel limited in communication or you're limited on time. Maybe you feel like you're being silenced at, at something. Ooh, let's see. Let's see what's up. I want you to take a deep breath in the nose, out your mouth, really expanding those lungs exhaling out getting rid of any of that gook that's sitting in the lungs any of that fear or anger all right say my little prayer and get started okay I'm listen listening to ocean sounds that's the new vibe over here. Because I was thinking the music was, you know, not letting me get paid on the videos. So I switched it up to my sound machine over here. All right, water signs. What's going on with you? I'm live Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. That would be tonight if you're seeing this. Eastern time on Roots and Rewards, Jesse. Uh, I won't be on Roots and Rewards Jesse Ray account tonight. Um, I may be on the Roots and Rewards account. I have another third account as a backup. If you want to look that up, Roots and Rewards. Uh, I'm not sure the picture that I put up there. Um, but I have almost a thousand followers on that third backup page. If you want to follow me over there, I need like, I think four more people to get a thousand because I lost like couple followers from not like posting over there but anyway <clears throat> i will be live over here also water signs what are the water signs need to hear for the higher good you could be dealing with an aries could have a birth date on the 10th or the 11th november 10th or uh october 11th could be dealing with a cancer or a gemini strength card or a leo all right you're gaining your strength feeling stronger in your energy feeling more courageous in your energy um some of you so the arrowhead some of you guys could be native american maybe cherokee cherokee indian the arrow is pointing south so you may want to go south south of the border maybe uh, maybe New Mexico or like Wyoming or something like that hey 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 like Fat Albert I don't know <laughs> so somebody may be a very large person you may have a little extra weight on you uh, or this is just somebody's personality they're like all you know Light and fluffy, jokester. Feel like you're standing really tall in your energy right now, water signs. Water signs, what's going on in life? Okay, king of swords is in reverse. So there's that, that Gemini, Libra, 
Aquarius energy. You're feeling stronger in your energy and you may be holding back communication here. Or you're trying to hold the, your tongue, learning how to communicate a little bit um, better than lashing out or having harsh communication with people. Could have a, a July 22nd birthday or June 22nd birthday. Um, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're, you're uh, retracting your love energy from someone here. So you may be withdrawing communication, withdrawing love from somebody. And this may be really hard for you to do. But you're you're getting you're getting very bold and you're you're withholding here because it's you feel stronger in doing that you feel stronger not moving towards this person not traveling towards this person with the world card in reverse and then the sun card Leo Leo is is heavy here because strength card in, and the sun card are both out so somebody may have Leo placement. But you're gaining some type of enlightenment about this person that you're dealing with or your friends and family around you. There's enlightenment. Um, you could have been sitting in like greedy energy, selfish energy, held back from people, but you're coming out of that. You were feeling like you didn't have enough. You weren't really feeling proud of yourself and now you're feeling more prideful, more, more proud. So you're opening up. Um, okay. So the King of Swords, what's the King of Swords in reverse? The Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. So when you were in this greedy energy, you were hermit. You were in introspection. You were cloaked, cloaking away from people and, and not communicating. But it's like, I feel like you are gaining up the strength to, to be verbal again or, you know, put yourself out in the world again. Maybe you held yourself back, like you've been antisocial, not wanting to deal with people, and now you're moving forward. But what's centering the read is the Knight of Cups in reverse. So it's like holding back love energy still or holding back emotions from somebody. Coming out of the heartbreak, maybe just not being in your feelings anymore about the sadness and heartbreak that this relationship has caused you. So feeling better, feeling a lot stronger. Uh, you could have had a hard time traveling away or closing out cycles. Uh, with people, the world card in reverse. What's that about? Oh, shit. Uh, the hangman. Pisces energy. All right, there you guys are. You're coming out of stuck and stagnant, hanging around, waiting and watching. You're coming out of not being able to move forward. Like replaying events, your conditioning, your limited beliefs. You're coming out of that. So that's good. The Page of Wands, you're coming out of this um, in and out energy. You could have been a playboy, playgirl energy or very impulsive and just going out for the thrill of it, going out for the sex, going out for just, you know, the validation of people. You were sitting in very young energy. Young energy, but you're becoming enlightened about how you've been sitting in your energy. They really weren't happy in this hit it, quit it, lick it and leave it energy or this impulsive energy. You kept putting yourself, you know, into environments that really don't suit you in young, young environments with young people. You could be a little bit older and you're, you know, you're fucking around with like young energies. Meanwhile, you're, you know. You were sitting in young energy, but it looks like there is some type of um, maturity here. Some type of change that's happening. Some kind of fortune. The wheel's now turning in your favor. The wheel of fortune here, you see? That's changes. 
changes in being a thief, changes in, you know, sabotaging yourself, you're not going to sabotage yourself. You're, you're focused on abundance. You're focused on changing patterns and feeling good in your energy. You are putting anybody that was thieving on you to bed. Anybody was escaping from you to bed. Not, get, not letting people get close enough to you, the ones that want to rob and thieve from you. Knight of Cups with the Three of Swords. That's centering, so I really do feel like you're going to it's feeling good. Three of Swords. The Five of Cups and the Magician. So you're sitting in disappointment. Water Signs. Could have been sitting in disappointment with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And now you're, you're manifesting something different for yourself. You're manifesting um, forward movement. Manifesting getting stuck out of this, this cycle with these people, this person. You could have been dealing with this person for the last five years, five months. Ugh. Okay, just got done doing a a class. <laughs> so my hair is a little greasy. Maybe you needed to wash your hair. Oh, I know I do. All right, sun card coming out of the ten of swords, coming out of feeling rejected, or you know your ego being hurt. Nice. Yeah, there's forward movement. No. There's action being taken. Forward. So the three of cups is in reverse. So friends and family or another lover was coming involved. Like you... You might have traveled towards a third party or you were for the fun of it. Maybe you like to do threesomes and orgies and all that shit, Right? That's what young energies do. Page of Wands. That's what the Page of Wands do. Leo Aries is. You know, they want that excitement. They want, you know, multiple people on the, the schlong or the cookie. And maybe you've experienced that and it's like, this ain't, this ain't me. This ain't me. I'm too mature for this shit. I got too much value for this shit, for throwing my shit around town like that. So... That's where the change is with the Wheel of Fortune. Changing the need to have multiple parties filling into you. The Queen of Swords is in reverse with the King of Swords. So maybe you both have air in your placement, but it's mutual that you guys um, are, cutting, are cutting this off. This thievery. Somebody feels thieved on and robbed by the other. Or like put placed in into bad situations by the other person. It's not cutting it anymore. It's not cutting it. Uh, all right, it's it's disappointment. Yeah, you coming out of that? Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, no longer investing. Being truthful and honest with yourself that this, this situation is not your Ten of Cups. It's not your wish fulfillment. You're manifesting an honest relationship, togetherness, family, nice home, uh, caring, a caring connection. This connection doesn't feel very caring. This feels very lustful to me, very sexual to me, very... Um, controlling possessive um integrating like it's just mm, I, i'm feeling some type of way about this connection pisces it's like ma like manipulation manipulating someone to do these these things becoming really honest and clear you, you're getting it. You're understanding it. And you're cutting it off. That enlightenment. 
is coming in. The happiness and joy is coming in. Your wish fulfillment. You're headed towards your wish fulfillment. So maybe you had a lapse in judgment. You weren't valuing yourself. You were giving too much away. And you sacrificed. You know, maybe you sacrificed your soul. You sacrificed your body to make this person happy or just your own, you know. We all go through that, like, little whore stage. Um, maybe you're going through a midlife crisis, you know. Um, maybe your hormones. You want sexy time, you know. But ultimately, you're giving your shit away for free to people that really are not valuing you or bringing you value here. And you're a very valuable being. And I think you're understanding that. So you're grabbing your self-respect back. You're grabbing your value back. Maybe focusing more on your pentacles. Oh, shit. What did I do here? Oh, I thought I flipped it upside down. So you were, you were upside down for a moment in time. It's okay. It's okay. You, you're doing better now. There's better to come here. You're not, you're holding love energy back here. The Nine of Cups isn't in reverse twice. It's understanding that you don't really want to, you don't want to pour into this, whatever this is. You don't want to pour into it. It's not for you. There's lack of like, I don't know, privacy with this person. Like you want, you want like a private connection. I feel like this person's just parading your ass around, just getting you into bullshit. Some of you guys may want to take a ride, drive up to the mountains. You're needing to protect yourself. Um, um, what am I... The NBA is here, so somebody may be into basketball. They like Timberlake or wear Timberland. Um, you may be visiting all different types of markets. And... Hmm. Could be 56 or um, have a birth date in December. You're rolling away from conflict. You're getting out of the thunderstorms. And you're moving on. So what's the uh, water signs moving away from? <sighs> moving away from the fishy cup of love by the younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Stopping communication with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Not listening to this person's immaturity. They're emotionally unavailable or emotionally insecure. Not intellectual. Not emotional. There is, there's lacking emotional intelligence with this person where they don't know how to speak. I don't know how to talk. talk. Water signs. What's going on? Yeah, coming out of partnership here. Ten of Pentacles. Because there's no investment. No longer investing in this, this younger energy. It's not a good collaboration. Water signs. And I think, yeah, you're traveling away from this cancer. This cancer may be doing some spell work on you. Maybe sexual magic. But you're not going to be moving. Or maybe you're the cancer that's not going to move towards this person and feel like they're doing some fuck shit to try to, like, sabotage you. Or knock you down to your knees. They they try to. They're fucking moody. You're you're not going to be at a crossroads anymore. You're walking away to explore something better for yourself. Going from the eight to eight of cups to the ten of cups. So you're making the right decision by by turning your back away from uh, this person. There there's not any alignment with this person. Lack of alignment. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. One, two, four, six, eight. Eight of pentacles in reverse. There's no investment. There's no victory. 
it's just waving that passion stick, waving that wand. It's sexual connection. This is sexual connection. Somebody got you wrapped up with the 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 dick or the pussy. So you're probably addicted to the dick. What's that going to bring you? It's not going to bring you anything good. And I think, yeah, you're seeing that. You're seeing that. All right, water signs. After you close this out, you hold it back. After you close this out, what is coming in for the water signs? Leaping, leaping away from the greed and the selfishness. Leaping, holding back and leaping forward. Taking a risk in a different direction. Taking that light and fluffy energy. Aquarius, Aries energy. You could have an Aquarius or Aries biting at your your ankles trying to keep you in foolish energy. This person's a fucking fool. They stalk your shit. They catch up in the head space. They make you feel bound and trapped by their foolery. not really digging this person they they get you in tower moments aries they throw you out the burning bed and they get you stuck pisces they get you stuck they don't give too much they shake you of all you could feel energy they shake you of your money this person you're always spending money on this person or doing nice things for this person and you're just stopping be careful with the money be careful with your money because it, it's flying out it's flying out of your pockets. You're being foolish with your money here. And you feel like maybe you're you're getting yourself into debt. Just be careful. That's a warning for you. Like you're being Peter Pan. Come in, you're being in fantasy land. Come out of fantasy land. You'll gain your victory. Why don't you leap away from this person? King of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Once you become emotionally balanced... And understand like what you what you need and stop letting this person dictate what the fuck you're doing this could be even be a work co co-worker that you you're messing with could have uh have an affair at work or you met this person through a work uh work party or a colleague This person also could have been juggling you with someone else. But you're not taking the wishy-washy energy. The hot and cold. You're letting the tower to tower crumble with this. There is no way. There is no commitment here. Hierophant, I just saw. Taurus energy. There's no commitment with an Aries, Scorpio, Taurus. You'd rather be fucking single. <laughs> rather be the nine of pentacles focusing on your pentacles. See, once you... Um, detach from this person your pentacles are going to go up 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 and away the nine to the ten um september 10th uh october 9th you should be getting some uh finances here that's a birthday nine to ten days maybe getting a raise the six of wands uh june 9th or uh september 6th there's uh, balancing the finances. Things are being just. People are giving and receiving with you. No longer taking action towards those passionate, impulsive connections here. Understanding your feelings. Understanding why you've been behaving the way that you've been behaving. Seeing your misalignment and pulling yourself out of uh, the disappointment. All right, so a commitment is being shattered possibly with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're setting your boundaries, cutting this person off, and using your intuition. Let's, uh, where's my, uh, my mini deck? You may have a mini me. Maybe one of your kids is just like you. Or this person's kids is just like them. Taurus energy. Alright, so it looks like, yeah, you're moving towards a really good and better, better direction. Better direction, and you still have the Ace of Wands out here. So becoming inspired about oneself. 
what can I get myself into? What can I create? Becoming enthusiastic about what you can create. Being enthusiastic. Okay, I'm single. I'm single. What can I create for myself? What can I get involved in? Nothing is holding you back at this point. So how can you pull more funds? How can you feel more blessed in your energy? What, what can I do? Somebody may connect with a hawk. The sun card. Yeah, this, the reciprocation and the joy. Coming out of the dark. Coming out of the moon energy. And going towards the sun. Are you watching a sunset or sunrise? Someone here. Two of Cups, centering the reed. Cancer. You got the Two of Cups here. You have somebody that, that you have, like in the future, or maybe already, you know, you're already connected with this person. You fell into each other emotionally really nicely. Coming out of that heartbreak with wh whoever the hell this was, this hit it, lick it, quit it, and leave it, whether it's you or them, or maybe you both are getting yourselves into some bullshit. Uh, I can see that, definitely. But yeah, there's there's passion between the two of you. And there's love being talked about here. Who is, there's healing with the star. So feeling like the star, healing those emotional immaturity. This is going to be a healing connection for the two of you. With the two of cups. Who's this person that uh, are connecting with the water sign? Relax my jaw. Eight of swords coming out of the head. Feeling bound in your thoughts. Who's this person? Oh, popping off. Popping off. No longer putting effort towards things that leave you in distress or boredom. They don't want to tell me who's coming. Who's this person coming for you? But... They're saying you are manifesting the Ten of Cups. You're on the right track in getting what you what you want. Whether it's a re nice relationship or coming together with family, having children, you know, doing better in your career. Whatever it is that you're wanting, you shall receive it. You're getting it. Okay. I think... Uh, I'm going to have to let you go. <laughs> I need to rest. I still got to do my TikTok reads. I did a twin flame read the other day for you guys if you want to check that out. I need you guys to really, you know, comment and share and like the channel. Since I came back from Spain, my, my numbers are all wacky. Um, the algorithm got messed up. So help, help a girl out. Like, share, subscribe, comment. If anybody would like to buy the channel a gift, or me a gift, uh, Amazon wishlist is in my link tree link below. I could use some new decks. Uh, I'd like to share some new decks with you guys. Coming out of this deep freeze, 26. Leo energy, again, strong there. So really, you know... Getting the courage to get out of your slumber. Moonlight. What did I say? Come out of the moonlight. Cancer Pisces energy. Coming out of the deception. Coming out of being hidden. 51. And then the baloney. Bal Maybe. Phony baloney. <laughs> Somebody's a phony baloney. Bone collector. There's that black witch energy. That I saw in the fire sign read and the twin flame read. So someone's out to, they don't like that you're, you're, you're putting them in the cold. They don't like that like you are getting released from their, their spell work here. Hmm. Somebody may be Vietnamese, Korean, 
And then stuck in the mud. 24. They're wanting me to st be stuck in the mud. Hmm. That's not nice. But you're not. You're not being stuck in the mud. Because you're coming out of the deep freeze. You're coming out of the moon energy. You're coming out of the mud. You're... You're gathering your stuff and moving the fuck on. Like, <laughs> this person just doesn't want to let it go. Coming apart. Like, that's what I'm saying. This this relationship is coming apart. 46 or 64, June 4th or April 6th. And magic stream. See, they're doing some type of magic. 18... Home. Cleanse out your homes. Cleanse out your homes. Magic stream. Hmm. Bless some water or get uh, holy water and bless your home or the moon, the full moon tonight. Make some moon water and splash it around your property. To cleanse this away. Maybe even bathe with it or drink the moon water. 18, 27, July 2nd, February 7th, January 8th or August 1st. And yeah, you, it's not going to be a struggle anymore. You're not going to continue to struggle to go up the mountain here. You're, you're going to sit in solitude. And relax by the lighthouse on the beach, you know. 13. Coming out of the sad embrace. See? They want you to feel sad and in your feelings and emotions. And they want you to feel left out and all by yourself. But it's not happening. It's not happening. 45, 54, May 4th, March 5th. April 5th, 27, home. So you may be returning home. You could be returning to a childhood home or uh, you know, moving back home to your home state. You could be moving in with... Um, a mother figure or an aunt I see here too you're um, I think you may have witchy people in the family here the women the bloodline the women in your family may have gifts and this mother figure is a very like happy-go-lucky very good energy you could live in the Midwest I feel very peaceful water signs here. Movement. See, movement. So, no longer moving towards this person, place, or thing. Right? Stopping movement. But then movement. Moving to a new home. Or moving back to a childhood home. So, maybe maybe there's a home. Uh, you're being granted a home. Here. Yeah, balancing act. So you're becoming more balanced. You're, you're gaining what you need. Balancing act. Now that you have cleansed yourself and you've gone bare naked, like you, uh, you've you've seen, you've shown your true colors. You've seen yourself. You've seen your ego. You've tried really hard to balance things out, and now you are balancing it out. Balancing act is here. The goblins are being put in the dark, and there is no more waves at the moment. So things smooth sailing with that solitude, smooth sailing. So you may want to go to a lighthouse and just chill, you know, at a beach um, and take some breaths out, warm up, you know, warm up that deep freeze and that sad embrace that you've been having. And yeah, just
Just let things fall apart if they need to fall apart. Don't feel some type of way about it. Embrace. Embrace that shit because there's better shit here for you. And that is all, folks. Hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you your clarity to your situation. I do appreciate the likes, donations, kind words you give me on a daily basis. And uh, what more can I say? I am doing Qigong, Sita Tai Chi, Aqua Tai Chi at RWJ and Carteret. I can get you a free day pass if you want to join. I'm also at Crunch doing Matt Pilates and Core on Thursdays. I can get you um, a spot over there. And then I'm also going to be doing some Beach Qigong. Uh, with Trinity Wellness, we still got to discuss what we want to do with that. And I'll let you guys know about that if you want to join. If you're in the Middlesex County area, you let me know. And another thing, guys. Listen. I know I make you guys feel all types of ways. Right? But you guys have to understand that it's the internet. And I'm glad that you guys connect with me to a certain level. But there's some people that are overextending themselves and sending emails that are really not needed. Um, you know, being disgusting in the emails. If you want to send me a nice email, that's fine. I appreciate the email. Um, if I can't write back to the emails, take it for what it is. Um, you know, I get thousands of notifications every day. So it's nothing personal. But I don't need the disrespect in the emails. Um, especially, you know, you guys, you want to slip in the DMs and the emails and say your tits and ass are looking good. And you're expecting me to do what with that? It's just disrespect. And if you're disrespecting me, you're disrespecting yourself. Um, so really think before you speak. Think before you write bullshit uh, to me because you'll be blocked and then that's it you know so I ricochet any of the bullshit that any of you guys want to send me um, but understand that like I'm a um, internet personality let's put it that way and I'm here to help you but I'm not attached to you I don't know you you guys are strangers you know me I don't know you so just be careful on how you approach people on the internet. And that's it. That's my public service announcement. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Keep yourself in high regard. Next up is going to be air signs. I will see you tonight live on TikTok and YouTube. Bye, guys.